Okay, so a quick thing for, for any module tutor who's using Mole, um, there's a slight problem with um, with using uh, embedded links in, in a page of HTML in Mole, in that when a, a Mole module rolls over, those links then point to last year's module, not the current year's module. And of course, the students on the current year's module weren't enrolled in last year's module, so they follow the link and, uh, and it gives them an error saying they can't access it. So... I just want to talk you through the process for correcting this because it does come up quite a bit. So a student has, um, has said they're having problems downloading presenter slides, PDFs basically on, on a module on 6116. So if you look at the screen, I've got the, the module here. Uh, if it's in weeks one to two, I'm just going to show you where the problem exists and I'll show you how to fix it. It's quite simple. So for example, if I take one of these um, uh, pages, so here's a lecture. Um, so you'll notice there's a link to some presenter slides here, um, linking to a PDF in the content collection. What you need to do to fix this problem and to make sure students can access those PDFs is you need to go to the content collection and just make sure that the permissions are set correctly. So how do you do that? If you go to the bottom left corner in your mole module and click on content collection, you will be able to click on a link here, the top link, which shows you the actual modules files behind the scenes. Uh, when you click on that you should get a list something like this and depending on how you've um, structured this you may have files in different folders and subfolders. In this particular case I'm, I'm looking at this folder called PDS of Slides. If you look across to the right you'll notice that this, the permissions um, are not set correctly. This needs to show a globe uh, and the way you can do it is there's a couple of ways. The quickest way is just to, to click on the actual icon itself on the correct row uh, and then you get to a screen like this and you need to click permit anyone and you need to make sure that that read box is ticked which it should be when you get to this stage and then you just need to click submit what this will do although it said anyone what it means is any students enrolled on that module should now be able to read um, the files in the particular folder that, uh, that you've just adjusted the permissions for. You can do this on a file by file basis as well. I just happen to have done it for a whole folder because I know that all of the slides in here in PDF form were not available but now you can see the permissions look, they've got the globe icon, they're all fine. So it's just something to bear in mind, something that comes up a lot. Um, if module leaders can be aware of this it's something that's easier for them to fix.